What's up, Razmanites? I just wanted to shoot this little addendum to the upcoming video you're going to see because, well, this episode aired out of sequence. As many of you know, due to recent events in my life, I've had to pre-film everything you've seen over the last three, four weeks now. And I had originally intended to air this episode as a direct response to another episode I planned on doing. What happened with said intended episode? Well, I didn't get the item in question. The item in question is something that I get every year. On day comes out, and this year I just wasn't able to do it. I went through just about every avenue that I knew was an available option to me to try to get it done, and I just couldn't financially get it done. So I will get the game. It's a video game, by the way. I will get it. It's Madden NFL 11. I will get it. Can't not get Madden every year. But, quite frankly, because of another mishap that happened yesterday, which was my good friend Zarin Isaac, Sean McLean, airing an episode that was almost identical to the episode that I wanted to air. I've had to frantically rearrange my airing schedule because I don't want to air my episode on the Turtles Forever DVD and how crappy of a release that is until I talk to him and try to figure out the best layoff in between the two episodes so that viewers who might be coming in who aren't subscribed to me to begin with, meaning all of you, won't think that I'm copying him. So that went down, like I said, and it made me have to rearrange my whole schedule as to how you're going to see each of these videos air. So the only thing that I could do for a last second change that was completely 100% ready and doesn't need any final touches before it airs was this video that was a, supposed to be a direct response video to the unboxing that I had planned on doing for Madden NFL 11. So because I got Madden NFL 11 late this year, and I don't know when that get date will actually be, it would kind of be irrelevant at this point to do an unboxing that came out back on August the 10th, this past Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is just jump straight in to doing the extensive review of Madden NFL 11, much like the one that I did for Madden NFL 10 a year ago. So you can look forward to that. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy this short and sweet episode where I just wanted some viewer interaction. And I talked a little bit about what Madden means to me. And yes, I'm a continuity freak, so I went out, put on the Bengals hat again, put on the same shirt that literally just got out of the wash today, and I even had my mom do the annoying thing that I said was annoying in the original footage. I had her do it again, just because I'm that much of a continuity freak. So, hope you guys enjoy that little attention to detail. And now on to this video that was shot in late September and intended for airing immediately following the now non-existent Madden NFL 11 unboxing. Well, the last episode that you guys saw was of course the unboxing for Madden NFL 11. And as most of you know, from the review last year, if you saw 
the video that I did on the now defunct Five Awesome Studs channel, I am one of the biggest Mad Knights on the planet. I have played nearly every version of the game that existed except for a few PC versions that I didn't know was out there. I even played the very first Madden that was made for the Apple computer. Madden has just always been my favorite thing in the world. Realistic football to its core. Ironically, Madden was in a little bit of danger from ESPN NFL 2K5 a few years back because that thing was arguably the greatest football game ever made. Now, as you guys heard me talk about in the last episode, Madden made a lot of strides and a lot of improvements this year. So, I'm very optimistic about it. I think it might at least be on the same level, finally, as the ESPN 2K5 game was. And you know what? I think I just inspired myself. In the course of doing the intro for this episode, I think I just inspired myself to do a future episode on the history of Madden NFL football. That was something I originally planned on doing for the Five Awesome Studs channel. I originally was going to have a partner in that, in Polite Mediocrity. Both those things fell through. Polite Mediocrity, if you're watching this video and you want to do this new version of it with me, you're more than welcome. We'll figure out how to get that done. But yeah, I definitely do want to air history of Madden football because I think it will make for an interesting video. But, today, on The Rise Man's Reality, what we're going to talk about is some of my favorite video game franchises of all time. And then I'm going to ask a little viewer question of all of you. So that's what's coming up right now on The Raz Man's Reality. include MLB The Show. Now, I've only played MLB The Show a few times on the PlayStation 2. I haven't played any of the PlayStation 3 versions because I don't actually own a PlayStation 3. So, I haven't been able to play MLB The Show in years, but just like Madden, represents itself every year as the most realistic football franchise out there. MLB The Show, the PlayStation exclusive franchise, does that for baseball. It is the most realistic baseball simulator on the planet, bar none. So I love MLB The Show. Another notable sports game at the time it was just a solo game when it first came out. Although it's getting a revamp for the Wii, if it hasn't already been released, I'll check the release date for it and put it in overlay. But uh, I'm speaking about NBA Jam. NBA Jam was awesome because it had the authentic NBA feel mixed in with some arcade craziness. That was some great, great stuff. And then, of course, there were great fighter games like Street Fighter 2, which was, in my opinion, leaps and bounds ahead of the original Street Fighter. And then, there can be no better fighting game 
for a Turtles fanatic than the original Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo, which of course has just got a reshelled version for Xbox 360 Live and PlayStation Home. So basically what happened was unboxing Madden and talking a little bit about Madden history and realizing how much I truly love that game. And as I just said in the intro, I'm actually going to be doing a whole history on that game now. But it prompted me to want viewer action, or reaction, excuse me, from all of you. Viewer participation, if you will. I want to know what your video favorite video game or favorite video game franchise of all time is and why. And I will make an episode right here on the Razman's Reality about what your favorite video game were or are. And I will talk about any of my own personal experiences with those franchises or games if I have any. So with that, I hope you'll participate, and I will see you all next time. This is reality according to the Razman. And Razman style is not just a catchphrase, but a way of life. <laughs>